It's a claim Council Member Shama Sawant has not shied away from. Uh, che Taylor was painted as a criminal uh, even though he was murdered by the police. Now her accusations are the subject of a lawsuit. Earlier this year, King County held an inquest into the 2016 police shooting of Shea Taylor, which was captured by in-car video. Get on the ground! And his jacket was hiked up about like this. Seattle police officer Scott Miller and his partner Michael Spaulding testified they saw Taylor reaching for his waistband before they fired the fatal shots. I could see his elbow going straight up, which indicated to me that he just drew that hand down. The jury sided with the officers and ruled that Taylor posed a threat of death or serious injury. Now officers Miller and Spaulding are suing Sawant personally for defamation. The suit claims the officers do a hard job for modest pay and little thanks, realities they accept. But what they do not accept and what the law does not permit is having their reputations ruined by an ambitious politician doing so for personal gain. The Shea Taylor shooting sparked rallies and protests. According to the lawsuit, Sawant's statements at these events that Taylor's death was a brutal murder and a product of racial profiling were widely accepted by the crowd. Prior to filing suit, the officers requested a retraction, according to the complaint. Sawant did not even give them a courtesy of a response. We reached out to Council Member Sawant for comment, but we have not heard back. The suit does not specify monetary damages, and it's important to point out that it does not name the city of Seattle or the city council, only Sawant as an individual. We're putting live in the newsroom, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.